still and still and still and still undefeated, undisputed, 175-pound champion and now pound-for-pound number one in the world. His name is S.O.G. Andre Ward. This man from the Bay Area has inspired me so much. This fight alone, not only taking this fight again against a dangerous, great boxer like Sergey Kovalev, dangerous power puncher with power in both hands, TNT in both hands, atomic bombs in both hands. Not only did he neutralize him throughout the fight, yes, he got caught a couple times with some big long jabs and uh, some big straight right hands and right hooks and even an uppercut in the eighth round. But he weathered the storm throughout the fight, took Sergey's hardest punch and punched with the puncher, landed a hard right hand, made Sergey Kovalev back up, and then he proceeded to keep hitting him to the body because Sergey Kovalev, we found out he has been exposed tonight. Andre Ward went into his house and stole his biggest assets and his biggest assets were exposed tonight. He doesn't like getting hit to the body. And man, Andre Ward used the right angles. Jab, turn, switch through the hips into it. Perfect body shot. And he just kept landing it. It was not a low blow. So many people keep saying low blow, low blow, low blow. It was not a low blow. Sergey Kovalev was complaining and bitching and moaning. You're supposed to be the manly man. You're supposed to be this macho, macho guy. You're supposed to be... The most thug life and most thug life from Russia, right? You come from the gutter, right? Why the fuck you complaining about a low blow? You need to get hit in the balls. I, I'm a boxer myself. Um, I got a cup right here, uh, a Reyes cup right here. Let me show you. Reyes cup right here. You see it? Let's get let's get it in the light. Reyes cup is hard. You cannot feel nothing. Do you hear me? You cannot feel anything. Unless somebody's throwing a hard uppercut to your balls. He didn't even hit him below below the belt line, the borderline. Sergey, all that vodka, let's keep it real. He drinks a lot of fucking alcohol and that's what caught up to him. And that's just keeping it real. It's not being racist, it's keeping it 100. And it caught up with him. You know what I'm saying? What you do to your body affects your health in the long run. But let's get to the fight. Let's Let's watch it together, my people. Because Sergey Kovalev is a damn good boxer. Well, let, let's watch it together. Let's watch it together. The reaction that we got by Kovalev. Ward didn't put a lot of mustard on that shot. No, he did. Eighth round. We're going to go straight to the eighth round. And you tell me what you saw. It's like the fight is going a certain way. Ward is coming You see that? Kovalev is looking for a breather, those sorts of things. Cold left on some beautiful body shots. Andre Ward lands a hard, stiff jab, backing up to get space and get rhythm. He's in his mid range. Cold left was winning on uh, many scorecards from different people at press row because he had threw over 100 some punches. But the higher quality punches is Ward. Ward. Landing a stiff jab, hold, and then hit him with the right hand when one arm is free. Call left to a hard uppercut, a hard left hook. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is gone. I was yelling like crazy. Ward, being the dog that he is, coming forward with the big left hook. Ward gets low, hits him with the left hook. And he's hitting him right above the belt line. If you guys notice that. Ward taking his time, being precise. Looking for the counter shot. Boom, body shot. No, that was not low. Ward has such good sportsmanship that he did not hit him. He could have kept hitting him. He could have kept hitting him, but he didn't. And now Kovalev talking shit, getting mad, getting angry, which he's expending energy by doing so. Expending energy. Kovalev's angry right now. He's in desperation mode. He's backing up. Trying to. Oh, big right hand. Took his hardest shot. Took Kovalev's hardest shot and landed a counter right hand. And he's hurt. He punched all the way through the target. Hit him with a right hook. Hit him with a body shot. 
Kovalev's trying to hold. He's hurt. Big liver shot. Kovalev is in desperation. Big left hook to the chin. All unanswered punches. Kovalev's not punching back. That means that the ref can stop it at any time. The ref can stop it at any time. You're not punching back. He's not defending himself. He's not defending himself. Do you guys not understand that? Yo entiendo. Look at them body shots. Body shot. Body shot. Kovalev. About to puke up Baca and that's fucking over with. Number one pound for pound boxer in the world, Andre motherfucking Ward. Yes. That is what you call the master of boxing. Look at him. He about to cry. He, he, he didn't protest. He didn't protest. Because he know he lost. He know he lost. Look at that face. That's the face of a loser. He lost. You lost. You lost. It's over. Big bad crusher. Over. No more monster. You're over with. Now, there's going to be decafs. All the races come out. I don't give a fuck. I'm letting you know right now. Andre Ward is the best boxer right now in the game. In his young 30s doing his thing. Do you feel me? And most of you guys are just mad. You're just mad, man. I'm a huge Sergey Kovalev fan when it comes to his boxing. See, I can separate his racist bullshit from his actual boxing skill. A lot of you can't can't do that. <clears throat> Great jab landed all night. I had Sergey Kovalev winning four of the rounds going into the eighth. So I had it pretty much even because I was going to judge the rest of the fight because it's such a close ticky tag back and forth battle. And both were landing hard punches. This fight, I feel like Andre Ward was actually punching through the target. And he wasn't just punching at the target. So that's why I made it such a close. And it, it was even to me. Yes, Kovalev was throwing more punches. So in the illusion aspect, it makes it seem like he's landing more punches. But, you know, it is what it is. Give Andre Ward his credit. You know what I'm saying? The guy never gets a fair shake. He never gets his just due. And a lot of you guys are just fucking bitter or you just some racist pieces of shit. You feel me? Like, y'all weak out here, man. Like, your, your life sucks. You suck at life. You suck at life. Because if you didn't suck at life, you'd give people their credit. You feel me? But a lot of you are pissed poor morally. But I'm not even going to get into, you know what I'm saying, 15 minute video. Look, this is the post fight. Andre Ward. I had him winning the first round. He lost. The third round and fourth round won the fifth round, and um, I had him losing the sixth round and seventh and eighth. I, I had him going into the yeah the seventh round. I had him, you know what? I had him losing the seventh round, so I did have him down. I did have him. I'll take that back. I had him down in the eighth round. I had him winning because he started to land more clean, precise shots, and he started to land his jab and dictate the action because Kovalev. Was coming forward with that long, rangy jab that he has. You know what I'm saying? And once he gets his rhythm going, he throws the one, two, the two, three, one. I mean, he has so many combinations that he throws. You know what I'm saying? I notice his skill. I notice his talent. He has a level talent. That's why this, this, this win is more significant than him just knocking out a C plus fighter because it's somebody that is of high praise. And, and, and Russian boxers are, they have the biggest praise right now for their knockout. And his knockout was beautiful in any other fight. But Andre Ward neutralized Kovalev. And that's what it is. And he found the remedy. And the remedy is body shots. It's body shots. And for you guys to sit up here and make excuses. Tony Weeks is a horrible ref. He shouldn't have ref this Kenny Bayless. Fuck Kenny Bayless. Tony Weeks is the shit. You feel what I'm saying? Steve Moger, he's the shit. These are referees that I look up to that I like. But... On to the topic at hand. I think it was a good stoppage. He was taking so many unnecessary shots. I showed you guys on the video. You know what I'm saying? The replay. And Kovalev has nobody to blame but himself. Nobody to blame but himself. Because if he would have stuck to the game plan, listen to John David Jackson, like John David Jackson said, hit him with body shots. That's how you stop a uh, counterpunching, moving, uh, masterful boxer. Thinker, a thinker is hit him to the body because he's going to be thinking about his body. He's not going to be thinking about his game plan. You feel me? But that's his fault. 
That's nobody's fault but his fault. Kovalev has nobody to blame but him. He said he's going to be at his top optimum level. He's going to be at his, his prime self, his obsessed self. He said he's going to end um, War's career. Guess who career got put on hold tonight? You, sucker. Your, your shit got fucked up. You feel me? So, Andre Ward, throw the biggest party night in the Bay. Kevin Durant is a winner. You are winning tonight. And the fans won tonight. The fans got what they want. They got a knockout from Super Good Irma, which I'm going to make a video about that next. And Andre SOG Ward. I'll never forget this. I'll tell my kids about how you beat the Russian beast. Pound for pound. Number two or number three or in the top five in some people's um, you know, pound for pound list. And you beat them. That doesn't happen in this generation too much. So when it happens, you got to fucking appreciate it. He's a real fighter, and people need to start respecting Andre S.O.G. War. I get to you with more boxing news analysis and updates. Peace. This was the post-fight analysis between Andre S.O.G. War and Sergey Kovalev. One.